Hello Reds fans, welcome back to today's latest Liverpool news and updates, but first, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay connected with us and not miss any Reds news. Liverpool are embracing a trend of signing young players to integrate them into the club's culture, with promising talents such as Real Valladolid striker Raul Moro reportedly being targeted by Fitches. Unlike other targets, 21-year-old Moro does not have an exceptional track record, but he has excelled in the 2024-25 season, attracting attention from Premier League clubs such as Manchester City and Tottenham. While his numbers are not impressive, his impact on the pitch has made him a desired target. Real Valladolid are expected to ask for a significant fee to release him, with speculation that an offer of around 10 million euros could be enough. In addition to Moro, Liverpool are also interested in other European talents such as Facundo Buonanat and Pablo Barrios, and will be monitoring the development of those negotiations in the coming months. Man City and Liverpool set to launch transfer battle for Argentina International, Manchester City and Liverpool are reportedly interested in signing highly rated youngster Facundo Bunanot from Brighton and Hove Albion. The 19-year-old forward has made 50 competitive appearances for the Seagulls, scoring five goals and providing two assists. However, Bunanot has been allowed to leave the South Coast club to gain valuable game time on loan at newly promoted Leicester City. Bunanot has already made a positive impact for the Foxes, having scored three goals and contributed two assists in seven Premier League appearances. The Argentine scored his latest goal in the comeback win over fellow promoted Southampton on Saturday, with Bunanot netting Leicester's opener to kickstart their comeback from two goals down. Bunanot's impressive performances for Steve Cooper's side have caught the eye of two Premier League heavyweights. According to Spanish newspaper Fitches, Manchester City and Liverpool are both showing an interest in signing the Brighton low knee in 2025. The Seagulls are under no immediate pressure to sell the youngster after he extended his contract until June 2028 before being loaned to Leicester. With Brighton reluctant to part ways with Bunanot, it is believed they will demand at least €30 million Euros, £25 million from potential suitors in 2025. The report claims that both Manchester City and Liverpool would be willing to meet Brighton's financial demands, raising the possibility of the two clubs facing off in a transfer battle. The teenager, who has made two appearances for Argentina, usually operates as an attacking midfielder but also has previous experience as a winger. While Manchester City are blessed with a wealth of attacking talent, they could see Bunanot as someone with the potential to become a regular starter at the Etihad Stadium. As for Liverpool, they appear to be scouring the market for potential attacking reinforcements due to the uncertainty surrounding Mohamed Salah's future. The Egyptian player's contract expires at the end of the season and he is yet to sign a new deal with the Merseyside club. Liverpool manager On Slot has reportedly instructed scouts to keep an eye on FC Porto forward Samu Omarogin, with the possibility of a big-money deal to sign the forward in 2025 starting to take shape and amid claims the Reds are keen to find an upgrade for Jurgen Klopp, who appears to have fallen down the pecking order. The Merseysiders have started life brightly under the Dutch tactician, winning 10 of their first 11 matches under him and only a shock defeat at home to Nottingham Forest in the fourth round of the Premier League to blemish their record so far. The form Liverpool have shown so far under slot is arguably all the more remarkable given that it has been achieved exclusively with the entire squad he inherited from Jurgen Klopp over the summer. And although only Federico Chiesa has been added to the squad this summer, the Italian has played just 78 minutes for Liverpool so far. Rather than spending freely, Slot decided to take an analytical approach to his player group, looking at which players fit best into his system and best suited his tactics. This approach, albeit more so because of the failure to sign Martin Zubamendi, has certainly helped Ryan Gravenberch, with the Dutch star having impressed in his midfield role and proving to be virtually unstoppable. Now, according to Fitches, one player slot is eyeing to sign in 2025 is Porto star Omarogin, with Manchester City and PSG also keeping tabs on the player. The 20-year-old has made a brilliant start in Portugal, scoring seven goals in as many appearances, including a brace for his club in a recent Europa League match against Manchester United, which could have been fatal to Eric Ten Hag's future prospects. And while the report claims Omarogin is happy with the Portuguese side now, a sizable offer for his services in 2025 could tempt them into doing business, especially if they can make a sizable profit on the bargain 15 million euros 12.7 million pounds 16.8 million dollar fee paid to atletico madrid over the summer liverpool face a new and major threat to keep trent alexander arnold with barcelona hatching a plan to beat real madrid to his signature and on slot eyeing a french star as his replacement according to bold new reports in the spanish media the reds vice captain 26 is out of contract at anfield at the end of the season and will be able to sign a pre-contract agreement with a foreign club of his choice from january 1st just 72 days away. As a result, Liverpool fans are fearful of losing their assist king on a free transfer as time runs out on his existing deal. With an incredible 102 goal involvements, 19 goals, 83 assists in 320 appearances for the Reds since his debut in the 2016-17 season, Alexander Arnold's importance to the Liverpool cause cannot be understated. The player is rightly regarded as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, right back in modern football. 
As a result, the 33 times capped England star has been heavily linked with a move to Real Madrid, with the Spanish giants reportedly making the player a firm target for the summer of 2025 and sources telling TeamTalk that representatives from Los Blancos have been in constant contact with the player's entourage. However, new reports from El Nacional claim that Barcelona are preparing a bit of their own to beat their Spanish rivals to the signing of Alexander-Arnold, with sporting director Deco having a plan to lure the Englishman away from Real Madrid and make a statement. Barcelona's sporting director is determined to offer Alexander-Arnold a sporting project in which he is undisputed, as at Real Madrid the 26-year-old will have to compete with Dani Carvajal for a place in the starting lineup. And while Real Madrid are the most attractive option due to their history and trophies, it is claimed that the offer of a guaranteed spot could tip the balance in Barcelona's favour. At the same time, the report claims that Liverpool have also expressed an interest in signing current Barcelona right-back Jules Count as a replacement for Alexander-Arnold, with the Reds reportedly making a €50 million, Euros, £41.6 million, £54.2 million bid for the France international. Jamie Carragher is convinced Mo Salah will stay at Liverpool next season and beyond. After explaining what makes the star tick, he has let slip the biggest reason so far why he will sign a new deal. The Egyptian star has proven to be a real bargain signing for Liverpool, scoring at least 23 goals in every season since signing from Roma for modest £36.9 million in the summer of 2017. With seven goals in 11 appearances this season, the forward has quickly returned to his best form under new manager on slot. However, in just over eight months, Salah will be out of contract at Anfield and eligible to join a club of his choice as a free agent. What's more, he can even sign a pre-contract agreement with a foreign side from January 1st, just 72 days from now. However, Carragher is convinced Salah has a big reason to stay and pointed to the record Salah is closing as a big reason to stay and sign the new deal. His penalty goal in Sunday's 2-1 win over Chelsea takes him to 162 Premier League goals, level with former Tottenham and England striker Jermaine Defoe on the all-time list. The 32-year-old, however, is now just 13 behind Cherry Henry in 7th and 15 behind 6th placed Frank Lampard. He'll be keeping an eye on Cherry Henry and Frank Lampard for the rest of his season, I imagine, and I think stats like that are one of the biggest reasons Mo Salah will sign a new contract at Liverpool, Carragher told Sky Sports. Of course, they'll talk about money and length of contract, but I think those are the things that really get Mo Salah's juices flowing. He breaks all the records at Liverpool, and getting as high as he can on those lists, I think that's a big part of his focus as a player. What has Mo Salah said about his new Liverpool deal and what records he could break? Salah still has a long way to go before he overtakes Alan Shearer 260 at the top, but he is now just one point behind Robbie Fowler's 163 to become Liverpool's all-time leading Premier League goalscorer. And with 218 goals in 360 appearances for the Reds, signing a new deal at Anfield could also see him leapfrog Billy Little 228, Gordon Hodgson 241 and Roger Hunt 285 into second place. It may be a bit of a stretch to overtake Ian Rush in the top spot. The Welshman has scored 346 goals across two spells and 660 appearances. Salah's scoring rate, however, is a goal every 1.65 appearances. Rush, on the other hand, has scored a goal every 1.9 games, meaning the Egyptian is well on his way to beating that record, although that may require him to stay around for a few more seasons. Meanwhile, Salah has been tight-lipped about the extent of his stay and has yet to speak publicly since last month on Sky Sports following the 3-0 win over Manchester United. I was going into the game and saying, look, this could be the last time. And you, Reds fan, in your opinion, would you sign any of these players for Liverpool in the next transfer window? Comment below, leave your like, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any Reds news.